years ago today, morning KIMT anchor Jody Husentrude vanished. She hasn't been seen or heard from since. Today, there was a commemoration service for her outside of our news station in Mason City. Investigators believe she was abducted. After nearly three decades of exhaustive efforts, they have not gotten any solid answers about what happened to her. Tonight, KIMT News 3's Sanan McCall takes us to today's service as many remain hopeful to bring Jody home. Yeah, that's right, Tyler. And today's 28 years marks one year longer than who's in truth has been alive, but or had been alive. But loved ones and fine Jody advocates are confident that details on the person responsible for who's in truth's disappearance will come to surface. Optimistic, ambitious, giggly. These are just a few of the words loved ones and colleagues used to describe Jody Husentrude, who went missing while on her way to work as a KIMT news anchor 28 years ago. Today, they gathered at her former workplace to keep her name alive. When you were with her, you know, you were having a conversation, but there was something about her that was just always, she was wanting to find out more about you. Like she was just that interviewer, you know, that reporter from the very beginning. Jenny Hager was Who's in Truth's old roommate at St. Cloud State. She says June 27th has become all too familiar for her. It's hard every year this day um, to remember all the years that she's missed and to not know you know, what her future could have been. Dean Hager, Jenny's husband and friend of Jody's, read a statement from Hughes and Trude's family who say they still feel the pain and agony from losing her. We know that she would want us to be happy, be positive about the future, and to make the most out of our lives. However, we have to admit that as much as we remind ourselves to do so, sometimes it's just too hard to feel that way. Who's in Truth's mother passed away before ever knowing what happened to her daughter. Her former news director also shared their sentiments, saying nothing in his life has compared to the loss of Who's in Truth. The violence in this country has to stop. It just has to stop. Caroline Lowe is a member of Fine Jody. She urges the community to not let the Hughes and Trude family go another year without someone coming forward with information. We're hoping this is the last year that we're here, that the next time we have a gathering, it's in Long Prairie, Minnesota, because Jody's been found, and all of her loved ones up there and people from the community can be there to say their goodbyes. And the Fine Jody team is asking the community to leave a light on or light a candle to remember the Long Prairie, Minnesota native. Tyler. All right, Sonata, thank you very much. And you can also use hashtag lights for Jody and hashtag find Jody in any social media postings to help raise awareness online. And of course, anyone with information on this case is asked to call the Mason City Police Department at 641-421-3636.